Commission, and um, the reason I'm standing before you is that about a year ago, the Historical Commission um, started thinking about the center of town, the historic district, and, and the challenges that it has. And um, Howard and Judy are here, who are on the Historical Commission. I think Darcy was here on the commission at the time. And so we um, did some research into various places that might be able to help the town and discover that the Conway School of Landscape Design um, works on behalf of towns all around the valley and actually farther afield. So we made a proposal to the um, Community Preservation Committee and were approved for the funding. And we now have a project on the way. And our students are Susan Chin and Warren Lee. Um, Susan was previously an electrical engineer for Apple. Do I have that right? Yes. And Warren is more traditional, sort of ecological and planning type <laughs> person. <laughs> 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 but with the University of Vermont yes. training, right? Um, so with that, um, I, oh, I just want to say a couple of logistical things. There's a sign-in sheet, and I hope that if you didn't sign in on the way in, you will sign on the way out. And the other thing is that if you happen to live in the historic district, um, Susan and Warren would like to do some topographic um, surveying. And there's a sheet just giving them permission to survey on your property if if you would like to give it. Um, it's, it's on a little table. table. Sorry, yes. point. Yes. Right yeah. there. Yeah. Um, so, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, yes, I'm, I'm Warren. This is Susan. Um, and so we're going to walk through just a little bit of what our process is at the school, um, what we're going to be doing over the next two months, and then um, why it is we have asked you all to come today. Um, so we do this process uh, often, or we don't, the school does. Um, we have now done it twice. Um, this is our third term, this is our last term. Um, so at this point, we like to think that we're getting pretty good at it. Um, and might be the judges. Um, so we will have this community meeting, we'll have another community meeting that we invite you to. Um, and the way that it works is we are going to do a bunch of analysis. Um, so this is just a preliminary base map that we've made outlining the historic district and we'll do a lot, um, a lot more maps that are very similar to this. Um, we're going to look at uh, the hydrology and the soils and um, all sorts of other scientific technical things um, and then we also there's the human component and that is uh, what you all like about the historic district what you all would like to preserve in the historic district what you would like to see change um, yeah. <laughs> um, and so that is why you are here you are here to be a part of that process of us gathering information because we don't live here we don't know what needs to change and what needs to stay um, so we will do that with you over the next week or so, and we're going to talk to other people who haven't been able to make it um, and come up with sort of uh, our, our analysis. And from that, we will propose um, a variety of different designs, alternative designs for this space um, that incorporate sidewalks and things for the road and, and other um, key issues that you have uh, designated. Uh, and then we will have a presentation. and. Now it's about three weeks um, for a bunch of professional planners and professional designers who will come in and critique our work and say, that's great, or that's not so great, you need to change it, or this is a good idea, and so forth. Um, after that, we will have our second community meeting, um, which we will let you know about again, and we will present all of our designs at that point. So this one is sort of about gathering all the information. The second one is about giving you what we have come up with at that point, um, and we will ask for your feedback. Um, at, during that meeting, um, and that'll be your opportunity to say, this is a horrible design, this is, this is not what Whitley is about, or this looks great, this is the kind of thing that we were going for. Um, and then we'll have an additional three or four weeks to then incorporate all of your suggestions and the professional suggestions, and we will present you with a final document that is a master plan that you can throw in the fire or you can choose to use. Um, and that's sort of the whole, the whole process uh, in a quick nutshell. Um, so you are here today to give us some feedback. Um, we are going to break out 
uh, as organized as we can into different groups. Um, we've provided maps uh, with stickers, red for bad, green for good. Um, and we're going to ask you to tell us what your top three favorite things about the historic district are. And the historic district on the maps as well is outlined in um, red. Those are all the properties within the designated historic districts. Uh, we also have another map that's blown up just from the Whaley Inn down to um, the center school building. Uh, because we've sort of been told that that is where a lot of uh, population concentration is and then problems around parking and so forth. So that's blown up so you can get a little bit more detail about the sidewalks or the parking and what is going on. Um, so sort of the three top things that you like and then the three bottom things maybe about it. Um, and then after that we'll come back together and talk, put it all on one board so that you can see where it's sort of concentrated and if everyone agrees or if Everyone has a completely different idea about what is so great about the historic district, which would be awesome if it was everything, um, and then what needs some improvement. Um, and then we'll leave about 15 minutes toward the end, 10 minutes for questions and further comments. We'll probably stick around for an additional 15 to 20 minutes for those who would like to talk more. Um, that's, that'll be the evening. Are you including any of Haydenville Road in the historical? Yes, it, the, the properties come out to, I guess, this, this whole property is the last one within the historic district. Um, so if there, yes, uh, that, this is included. If there's anything along this road that you'd like to see improvements on or you really want to see preserved and highlighted in any sort of way, we will try to incorporate that into our design. What kinds of changes have you recommended and implemented in the other towns that you've worked on? Um, I've lived in Valley for only 15 years, which is a drop in the bucket compared with many of the people in this room, but I have to say that I think the historic district is great and beautiful, and I uh, get sort of nervous hearing about plans and changes um, because it's so wonderful as it is. Yeah. Well, and that's, I think that's what we really want to get out of this meeting is how do we implement some changes maybe around sidewalks to make it more easier to walk around the historic district without changing the character of the historic district. We want to make sure, that's why we really want what the highlights of what you do like about the town so that whatever we propose <coughs> continues to highlight those things, continues to, to provide those, those benefits of the downtown, um, but maybe also provides an easier walking or you know, easy, it's easier to park around the post office or things. These are sort of things. We had a, a meeting with the committee two weeks ago and they sort of highlighted some, you know, maybe better parking around the post office, easier access in terms of walkability within the district. Those are sort of the two high, big highlights and then stormwater, stormwater runoff would be another area that we try to focus on. Um, so those are the three that we have at the moment. Um, and if there are, we want to know if, if you also, if you agree with those and then if there are other things that you would have you know, ideas about. I, I wonder, um, actually I should say this, it um, might be helpful for people to know that, that the Conway School suggested that we, that we appoint a, a, a sort of client committee to get up the project started. So we talked um, in the Historical Commission with the Select Board about how that, you know, who should be on that committee. And um, not, not attempting to cover all the interests, but to get out just at least a good number of the interests. And the members are um, Pete Bardwell from the Department of Public Works, um, Bob Duda, who is representing um, there as the chair of the board of the library, um, Virginia Alice as a resident and historian, church. Oh, sorry, church. and representing the church, mm -hmm. um, Judy Markland from the Historical Commission. Planning board. Pardon? And planning board. And planning board. Um, Jonathan Edwards from the select board, and Becky Jones, from the, from the water district. Um, and so we had, we actually filled up 90 minutes of talking and that's, you know, so there's a, I mean, that was just a conversation, but it, it's started the process. Yes, it was yeah. great. Yeah. Okay, the process. I was just gonna add that, um, to address your concern as well, one of the things that we we're keeping as a priority is looking at the design through the lens of the history of the town and this particular district. So we want to really maintain the historic character and keep that in mind as we consider possible improvements to address the, the, the issues that may still exist here as they are. I have a question. Um, 
you probably need Judy can answer well, she answers to any question that anybody has. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, I'm, I'm interested in knowing what the constraints are on changes that are being made. Uh, when we moved into the area, which was 15 years ago, very very soon after that, I think within a matter of a couple of months, uh, there was in this room a hearing and a presentation about getting us uh, designated as an historic district. And uh, one of the things that troubled me at the time, and I think probably troubled a lot of people, uh, was the potential for all kinds of development to take place that there was no way of controlling. Uh, they made the point right away that by designating an historic district doesn't mean that you have to get permission to make alterations uh, on your property. And then somebody said, does that mean somebody can come in and put up a Burger King? Uh, and the answer seemed to be yes. Uh, that's trouble. I, I don't know what you can do to suggest or what anybody can uh, in terms of increasing constraints on the community as to what it can or cannot do. Right now, the center of town is zoned ag residential, right. so you couldn't put up a public okay. if that's a commercial use. So it would only be in the commercial district in town, which is more or less only on five and ten. So the Waitley Inn, for instance, stands outside of that. That's right. They're yeah. great. They're grandfathered. They're grandfathered. Yeah. In Quark Quark? That's a farm. Yeah. That's Quark. And it, it's not it's a new district. It's, yeah. 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 it's, it's a sign just outside. Right. So, so, cool. yeah. Yeah. so there'll be there'll be certain things like that where that won't necessarily be within the scope of our particular project. Um, you know, I, I mean, it sounds like different people within the town might have better ideas. Um, it's certainly something that Susan and I have worked on different projects, proposing similar sort of worries. I, I worked with um, Bernstein uh, last term and did a master plan for them, and, and a lot of theirs was about development, but similar things, keeping the character and not having where you can move in. Yeah. And there are things that, that you can do, and a lot of it has to do with zoning. Um, and, but that won't really be within the scope of what we're doing here. We're really focusing on just the historic district. And, you know, sort of, not necessarily just aesthetic um, improvements, but also water quality and things like that. Um, okay, quick two questions before we do the breakout. Um, My big question, um, I'm here because I care about Waitley. I've been here about five years, and I think I'm coming from the eye of a photographer, because I, I photograph the, all the seasons in Waitley, and if you guys know me, I have a couple of books out. Not on Waitley on 9-11 uh, in Boston Marathon. And um, I came to this meeting because my big question is ground zero. Why are we here? And is there money that you guys put aside and said, we have to spend it? How can we spend it? What are we going to do the weight lead? So I'm, what I'm trying to figure out is what's behind that? What are you guys up to? What are you planning? Or is there just money that's been set aside and we have to spend it? Because I, I'm tr that's what I'm trying to, I, I don't want to sound stupid, I'm trying to understand why we're here. And do you have like, is there $200,000 that need to be spent and how are we going to spend it and what are we going to do with it? Are we going to put lampposts in Waitley? Are we going to put sidewalks down? You can say we, we have no particular investment outside of of uh, what we gather from you uh, in terms of what you all want. Um, we have no agenda other than completing our schooling and our project, uh, <laughs> <laughs> providing hopefully a good project. You know, a good but I, I don't under, I don't want to sound stupid, but I'm trying to figure out what's behind this. Is there money that has to be spent? No. 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 The so, the, what's the idea? What's the idea? To get a yeah. plan and then, and the probable co uh, cost of it and at that point the town have a town meeting and decide whether they're going to go ahead and do some of it or whether they're not 
there were right, the right, the old money. There, the yeah, there's frustration within the town regarding that, that's what I need to hear. Regarding parking, regarding the sidewalks and the usability and the ability to get up and down it without hitting a six inch root that's coming through at this point. Things like this. And it's just the little things that are starting to add up okay. that's creating a concern where everybody's getting together and we've gone to the school and deciding, you know, put something in front of us and let's see whether or not it's something that we want to move forward with or are we going Great. to sit with status quo. That's, that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And at the end of the project, you guys will have a plan with some estimates for costs and you guys can you have that plan forever. So you can take the analyses and take them to somebody else and get a different plan. You can use that plan. Or you can just say, you know what, we'll think about that. There's no urgency behind. Because I've only been here five years and I was like, oh, what are they going to do the Waitley? I love this from. town. <laughs> you know, it's so, yeah. it's so cool. great the way it is. It's there's there's a purity much. here that you don't see in a lot of towns anymore. And now I think I have a better understanding what's behind this. Like, hey, let's make the walkways maybe put up some lamps or something let's yes that's what we're here that, we're ready for okay thanks to find yeah now i have a better idea so i think we have cool. one more question and then hopefully we can break into random. was there a plan to put those ugly red fire plugs on the street in, in addition to uh, on this system that we're talking about um we were trying to figure that out uh, i'm not sure whether they're actually going to put more water in them but i, I do know that they, they need more of those fire hoses. So. yes uh we we've heard uh certain ideas around hooking up to the water district outside of the co-op and town water and we're, we're still talking to people and you might be a good person to talk to about um, what the town needs in that regard um, and whether that is within our scope of proposing for this project um, because that will be important uh, to incorporate and, and keep in mind. So I might get your information so we can talk more. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be, there's a lot of people which is great. Um, our hope is to have people, uh, we have four different stations set up, um, and we might be able to set up, <coughs> sort of set up, we might be able to set up another one um, in the back. Um, but they, they have maps, um, stickers for everyone that are red and green. So red being the things that you dislike, or things that need improvement. Green being the things that you really like and would like to highlight or preserve within the town. Um, we're gonna give you about five to seven minutes to individually think about it and place it, and then within, um, as a group, decide what the top three of all of those are. So there might be five or six people working on one map, placing them, and then talk about the top three of all of those that are put out there. Because then we'll put them up here and have a sort of a, a better visualization than, um, of what's going on. Um, Can I ask a quick logistical question? Please. Several people have said that one of their goals would be to have better sidewalks. Mm -hmm. Sidewalks aren't in a place, they run the whole length. Is there a place where you would like the dots to be put that say It can go anywhere on the sidewalk. Oh. If there's a particular spot in the sidewalk oh, that okay. you remember. So anywhere on the sidewalk move. means fix yeah. the sidewalk yeah. Yeah. everywhere. You can okay. put it there and we'll know that that is, that is the sidewalk. Uh, I, I get the feeling that that is a big theme. <laughs> <laughs> Cover all of the sidewalks, that's the only problem. <laughs> So there, there's also a, smaller a, individual maps. On the back side, it has additional notes. So if there's anything that you don't feel as though you're able to represent on the map, there's a place for further notes. Um, yeah, for words that we will, and we're gonna, we're gonna, when we talk, we're gonna write down a lot of what you're saying about. So if you have a sticker and you just say the peace and serenity, and you want to put it on the creek, and then say, well, we put it here because we like the peace and serenity of Waitley. That is what we think is the most important thing to keep. That we will make the note of that to correspond. Thank you. Yeah. And if when you're coming up with your own individual ideas and putting your three stickers on the big map there, there's no reason that you can't have more than one sticker for the same thing. So if everybody says sidewalks, just pile up the stickers for sidewalks, and then when you decide on your top three, like, well, there's five stickers for sidewalk there. Maybe that should be one of our top ones. So yeah, just find, duplicate, and put extra emphasis on something. Is there a discussion about the different types of material you would use for sidewalks? Um, so maybe dirt? Sure, we'll be investigating various surfaces, various routes, 
based on Absolutely. your guys' input and then our analysis. And the second, the second community meeting will be more on that. We'll Definitely. have a proposal of, of ideas, and that'll be when, if we haven't thought of something that you've thought of in terms of a design solution, that's when we'll say, hey, have you thought about this? Because we might really like this as well. I'm talking to you. Just my pet peeve is I'd really love the power lines to be buried. Is there any discussion of that, or is that a possibility? I don't think that'll be within our discussion. That might be a broader discussion based on cost and so forth. But it'll be problem. something that we might propose as, as a solution. Mine is. Okay. back to a topic that nobody has mentioned yet, namely sidewalks. We all have sidewalks. Yeah. Um, it does seem to me that despite the gentleman in the back, who's worried about the fact we might have too much money to spend, uh, we're not going to have a whole lot of money in all probability and have to make choices. And it could be that people have different ideas, forget about the kind of materials we're going to use, about the extent of the sidewalks. I mean, it might be that that agreement could build around, well, we really need to redo the sidewalks between, let's say, the library and the town hall. Mm -hmm. That's the highest priority, and then move out from there. Uh, so I don't know if there's any opportunity with what you've set up there to say, yeah, I'd love to have new sidewalks throughout the entire historic district, but there's one particular part of it that I think is particularly important. Yeah. I mean, if you'd like to highlight a particular, particular important part on the map, um, that would be great. Uh, in terms of our ability to propose that, that'll be up to the town. You know, we'll propose, we might give you with with different materials and say, to do 10 feet of sidewalk in this material is going to cost you this much money to do 10 feet. And so you'll have a, an idea of what the cost will be, but where you use that, how you use it, will sort of be up to a town vote and, and a process beyond what we'll be doing. So if you all, and I need to ask something of you, but um, because of the way that the room is set up, we're going to have to have you bring your chair with you <coughs> to the table and then remember where you are sitting to come back. Um, <laughs> 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 top three and top and bottom three that you came up with. And I'm going to put them up here. Susan's going to write down any keywords or comments you have about that. If it's the serenity, we need to know that it's serenity and not the creek. Um, and then we're going to move on to the next person. We will have time at the end of it for sort of discussion on these things, but we want to make sure that we get all of this um, and you out of here if you need to be by 8.15. Um, so hold questions and further comments about specific things to the end. Um, so I guess we can start over here. Where you okay. the elected one? The things that we like, we yeah. like, I don't know what but we like the town hall building, you know, that, that is going to get a facelift and be used more. We like the library building. We think that, you know, our town is blessed with a very good library. And we like what we call the ambience of Chestnut Plain, that it's two lanes, so it's wide enough without being too wide, and it's lined by you know, these beautiful strips of grass and right. the right of way, and these beautiful trees. trees. It's just a pretty road to drive up. it has a sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so this is the, the feet, yeah. Is that kind of Yeah, I think so. OK, and then the three things that we don't like, the parking at Town Hall, um, and, the, and, and the, post, the post office in the back is shared parking. And part of our discussion on that actually involves the Waitley Inn, because currently Waitley Inn uses Town Hall parking for overflow, and if Town Hall is going to be more used for community events, we feel like the two have to be solved together, the Waitley Inn parking. We'll have to park elsewhere because it can't be at all. Well, we don't want to park on just the plane because we like it the way it is. <laughs> the second thing that we would like to improve is parking at the library because it's a disaster. <laughs> And then the third thing is right at the end of your map is where Chestnut Plains splits to north and I guess the turn off to Christian. 
Well, just back to the center yeah, school. Yeah, yes. at, the, at the very top. That is a really nasty spot where the road is kind of crooked mm -hmm. if you're going to north, and we feel like that could be so much better somehow. <laughs> All right. Heard that a few times. Okay. okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Let me just summarize those back to make sure I got everything. So, the town hall building itself, the library building itself, the ambiance of Chestnut Plain Road, and then we have the town hall and post office parking with um, particularly um, the weight and the overflow is a problem. Library parking, disaster. <laughs> and then the last one is the intersection, is that with Swamp Road up there? The, no. 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 It's actually North Street. North Street. Yeah. Yeah. It goes North the, North whole, the whole thing. The, the whole intersection the north of the seventh yeah. Okay. Call out the dingle. The dingle. The dingle. The dingle. Oh, I have heard that. Dingle. 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 Okay. Thank you. It might be inaccurate. No, no, no. It's a real world. It's a depression. That's not his story now. Okay, we have a representative from this group. Might be you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we kind of don't follow instructions correctly. Yes. Oh, right. yeah, the, the gist of it is we have the town common. Um, what is the town? What would you define as the town common? It's like where the, si the sidewalks is between sidewalks and sidewalks. Okay. All that is town common. Okay. Yeah. So that being maintained, yeah. but um, obviously not be used for parking stuff like that. Um, where you parking? And um, the, the, one of our um, spokespersons said uh, the trees that they're kind of dying back mm -hmm. and they're not maintained well. That that should be improved. Um, another. Keep Center School, you know, rather than if it were up for bids for destruction or something, that would be okay. Um, like the town hall, but that the lights are awful at night, you know, to improve mm -hmm. more historical standards in the intersection there, I guess, for New City Light. Um, but it's like fluorescent. It's, terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. it's just in the fall. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was also a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. you're yeah. 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 It does hit sort of your, your top point. Yeah, the side ones, obviously. Traffic, one thing, I, of course, that's town um, price up different, but the track, the speed of the traffic is it's not it's going to China. Yeah, okay. It's going to be so Excuse me, you saying it's fast or slow or what? Fast. People go too fast. Too fast. fast. Um, uh, not that often. I live in town. I don't. I don't see that a lot. You don't live on Haydenville Road, then. Do you have a representative? Yes. Just to make sure I got everything right. So the greenway from the sidewalk to the sidewalk, that whole common stretch, uh, the center school building. Um, tree health, the town hall lights. Now, when you say the lights, does that mean there's not enough lights or the style of lights? Style of lights. Okay, thank you. And then you said sidewalk and then the speeding traffic. Okay. Uh, what about the middle group? Okay. We've got, for, for the negative, we've got lighting too much, too late, too unfocused. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> And the lights on the church were not the specific. Unfocused. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfocused or focused? Uh, too unfocused. Unfocused. Yes, too Thank focused. you. Sorry. <laughs> um, traffic is too fast. That's your repeat. Doesn't matter. It's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how important it is. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the walkability could use um, improvement. And uh, so that's um, uh, sidewalks and, um, yeah, let's just say sidewalks, what the hell. Um, and then the good is the view, 
general viewage. Um, the quiet and the the green space, which would be the you know the common. And we were particularly talked about how um, around the town hall there's there is you know a green space for gathering, and it would be great to see more of that. So I've got another one for the Greenway, including gathering space, the views and the quiet. And then I've got another vote for sidewalk. Um, when you say sidewalk, do you mean uh, the condition of the sidewalk or where it is or both? It's actually just the, the sort it's, of the, the walkability. It's the condition, really. I think. <coughs> you okay. recognize it. Oh. <laughs> 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 because walkability could mean it's always don't go where we want them, or it could mean that they're hard to walk. I just want to make sure I get what you guys wanted. Well, our new discussion was actually about runoff and that the sidewalks are not very walkable because they get wet. Okay. Get right. It was. It was actually the reason I was being more general about walkability was that um, Donna had mentioned that around the um, the post office there are issues, especially in the winter, where there's ice and things like that. So, okay. So, you are. <laughs> All right. And then I've got another for speeding traffic, yes. and then lighting that's too much, too late, and too ugly. Okay, in several places. Yes, and and two, yeah, too yeah, much. Some specifics if you want. Um, can I ask a question? What do you mean by too much lighting? Um, I mean too much. Just the two. <laughs> uh, too too much, too lights. late. Well, there's too much light, too late at night, and it's too unfocused. So the the so, post okay. office is lit. It seems like on yeah. the Yes. Oh, no, it is. It's open. I, I know that because yeah. I pay for the street signs. The street lights in town. Yeah, so it's five not, street lights in town, two on the corner. Yeah, it's it's there late at night when we don't need light. Um, Do you want the street lights to shut off at a certain time? I personally, yes. Really? Plus yeah. the yeah. plus the sure. the lights shining on this building and the post office. Yeah, those. The library, I agree with those. Yeah, those are right. way yeah. way too yeah. bright. Yeah. 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 Okay, and we might have more time to, to talk about lighting specifically. Um, Otherwise, it wouldn't. we have two more groups, I believe. You, the elected one. Do what? Are you the next? The I next guess. Elected person? Was, was I we the last group? She won the election. <laughs> um, yes, I think we have two more groups. Okay. Um, what do you want to start with? The assets. Sure. Assets, the center school, that we don't lose that. The town hall, and the Waitley Inn. We focused more on the buildings with those, and as far as some of the struggles that we're seeing that need to be dealt with, um, of course the sidewalks, and the ability to be able to walk on them without tripping if you're not looking where you're going. Parking, of course. And that includes church, town hall, library, center school, so all of them for parking and cemetery. And then the trees, like it was said before, the health of the trees, the trees aren't being, the trees are hitting an age that they need to be, have a little bit more done with them. You know, and one of the things about being able to use the sidewalks, two things have to be considered that are, are going to have to be considered by the people who uh, live there and everything else is um, how they're being taken care of in the wintertime to be able to keep them being used or whether or not it's going to be decided that they don't need to be used in the winter and they can be left covered with snow. Um, and uh, people's pets and animals. Hmm. As far as if you step off the sidewalk, is there going to be a pile to step in or is there <coughs> going to be an unfriendly welcome when you come across one certain area? So, and that's actually for the town to consider more so than you folks, but it's just something that we wanted to mention. Okay, so we've got the town hall building. Oh, and fire school. hydrants, I'm sorry. Of course, the fire hydrants back in. And I know that goes back to the water issues as far as the two different districts. 
And that is a, a, a negative or an opportunity? An opportunity. More fire hydrants. Okay. Of course, we need more water to have more hydrants that would be in the cell. Without flowing pressure. So, this the opportunity is to would like more of them? Yeah, there's only three on this whole street. Gotcha. Okay. And one of the things that needs to be considered with that, that some people may not be thinking about because they may not want them, is that also affects your insurance, FYI. Okay. In a positive way, if you have them closer to your house. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the town hall building, the center school, and the weight in building. And then you uh, added tree health, uh, another vote for sidewalks, um, particularly around uh, the pet waste and the winter care, and then the the fire hackers need more of them. Okay. I think so. Thanks. And uh, we have one more group. So the rump group that we formed at yes, the end? Yes, this, this last one. Okay. So the, the greenway, if, if there we love the uh, sidewalks and the town green between sidewalks, and the tree lining, that's a high value. That's an asset. Uh, okay. So we need some work in several categories. but. So we would have said the same thing, that this is both an asset and each of those categories could benefit from some work. Um, so to maintain the green, to maintain the sidewalks, to maintain the trees, those are all on the opportunity side mm -hmm. uh, that need work. Um, the town hall um, was high on our list as an asset. Um, and to be slightly contrarian because we had a couple more than three, uh, but I'll name one that hasn't been as uh, named, and that's the cemetery. That the cemetery is an asset uh, that uh, adds to the character uh, that we would like to maintain. Uh, beyond the maintenance of the greenway, the opportunities, uh, the opportunity that was greatest, uh, Two other opportunities that were greatest were parking, uh, which is a category others have mentioned. And we named, rather than one intersection, two. So we've already had the naming of the intersection where uh, North Road and uh, Chestnut Plain and uh, uh, Christian Lane uh, have their shared intersection. But we think that the second intersection that's uh, key in town, the Hidden Gold Road yes. connection, needs work, it's a, it's a kind of harsh disruption of what otherwise is a nice ambiance uh, of the town greenway. Um, so what could be done around there that improves sight lines but also improves the ambiance, is it plantings or landscaping or whatever that makes them both functional and uh, attractive. So we had the cemetery, the town hall building, and the greenway. And then we have another vote for parking. Um, the Haydenville Road intersection is added, including sight lines and aesthetics. And it was tree health, I believe, through third. Well, I was putting, so it's, it's the flip side of the greenway being an advantage. And that's tree health and sideway maintenance. <laughs> right, uh, right, with the maintenance. Are, yes. are needed to, to provide quality to that greenway. Okay, right. Yeah. Are you sure you want to stick with that word maintenance when you talk about sidewalks? I mean, right. I think they need to be ripped up and redone. Oh, oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I, I mean, yes. Yeah. I, I, I mean, so, so, and that would address the other question, which right. is if they're going to be uh, cleanable in the winter, yeah. you got to be able to move a shovel quickly. Sure. And right now, you have to use a trowel. Uh, to shovel the sidewalks because they're so broken up. Um, so if they were flat, we could we could keep them open for much of the winter. But right now, it's might as well walk on the snow uh, to be yeah. safe. Um, thank you all for participating in that with us. Um, we have one more question, and then we'll, we have about ten minutes left, and so we will stick around and take questions, and, and I'd be happy to talk about different things, but. Um, 
we personally have noticed that uh, Waley is very beautiful, and there are also lots of wonderful views. I and mean, I think someone highlighted the views as um, some, an asset, something to, to continue to, to highlight. Um, and we're wondering, and as early as we can, we'd love for you to raise your hand and just um, Susan will call on you. I would love to know what views you are talking about. Um, so if you can describe them so that I can place them up here so that we know what views um, it is that you really enjoy that we can try to highlight in whatever design you put forward. Um, that would be great. Melissa's back here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, behind, behind the library, Melissa's backyard, which is right next door to the library, you know, behind, uh, behind even Carl Brooks, that hill and looking out there is still gorgeous, looking out over, so I don't know Carl Brooks. I'm sorry, so I'll come yeah. south yeah. further, yeah. across from the, yeah. further down, there, that one, that this one. Here. Yeah. there, okay. and so, come two more down. south yeah. from there, down at the Mitskovich, the field, one more there. Here. Yep. Yeah. To the right of town hall, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. behind the library and behind town hall. Yeah. 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 So, so it's really looking looking through the field. Okay, sorry. Next to the Whitley. Yeah, when you're driving down Hayden Road to the intersection, looking left before you get to the houses there. So right please here. don't, yes, yes, please don't build yeah, anything in there. Yeah, yeah, well, and, oh, that yeah, whole yeah, area, not just that little tiny one. Yeah, it's yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, the big one. Yeah, the big one. Yeah, yeah, the big one. 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 So, so there's also the view to the west of the same field that you, so in the west, there's a view from Chestnut Plain Road to the west. So where, where you had your finger a moment ago, right there, looking west from there, um, past, the, past the yellow tobacco barn. Can anyone answer for me real quick what this field is used for? That's us. Hey. It's just hay. It's just hay. Okay. Yeah. All right. They're all just hay. All these. They're here. Well, no. no. Okay, on the side. Yeah. Well, all the ones near the road. All the ones near the road. No, no. Here. I was going to say just hay. It's it's hay. Not oh, it is just. <laughs> this is called just when you're talking about hay. <laughs> oh, hay. Hey, how's that? It's unjust hay. Are there a few frogs out there? I don't know. I don't wake up. And they do too. I don't know how you separate. Greenway from view. I mean, to me, just the view looking straight uh, north, north and south. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I probably we covered that before. But, but I would say the same thing of um, the road looking across the cemetery. The mm -hmm. cemetery is on the three yonder. It's also beautiful. Yeah. 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 And anywhere and you can see uh, uh, open sky. sky. Yeah. yeah, it's just a gorgeous view. Uh, there's the, yeah, so to the, that one. the tobacco barn, if you're looking left, it's sort of to the left. And just it's that. looking so west. The road goes north-south, north south and you're looking west at all of that yeah, out there past west. the cemetery. So and the tobacco barn is just, just sort of west and south. Just south. south. Of the cemetery. Right, right there. Look at the West. Tobacco barn, you know, is, okay. is that square? Oh, yeah. That's the old tobacco barn. No, I, I'm not talking about the yellow one. I mean, the one that's really way up on the hill. The yellow one's beautiful. Where do people live in? This one. Same driveway. But the view, uh, the view up. Yeah, the view up toward that one. This way. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And while you're at it, <laughs> <laughs> it, would be so great, it would be so great to have a public right of way, not, not for driving, but for walking yeah. in that direction. There isn't one now. Coming out this direction. That's right. Okay. That's, that's a private road. Oh, private right. property. Uh, so an easement of some sort for yeah. public access. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 So I have to say I'm surprised it didn't come up because there are those in the town who feel strongly about the right of ways for snowmobiles, and there are those who would like similar rights away 
for yeah. walk-ins yeah. yeah. in other seasons, yeah. and it didn't come up so far until just now when somebody said we'd like to be able to walk there. But that's the third. Yes. There are issues of respect for, for the property owners that where Carl spends much of his life negotiating with property owners to get uh, rights for the snowmobiles, which are not often respected uh, in the way some people uh, use the, the rights away that he negotiates. But I think there's a, if you merge the two interests in access for walking and uh, opportunities for the snowmobile paths to be connected, uh, there's an issue there that probably goes beyond design. It goes to oh, how, how we deal with how we it's deal a, it's with each other. It's absolutely a liability issue yeah. okay. with insurance and everything. Yeah, and I think some of what we're going to look at specifically with sidewalks and so forth is uh, how to connect with. Well, the trails have nothing to do with the sidewalks. They're all back <coughs> in the forest. Yeah, but seeing <coughs> what kind of trails are in the area and if it makes sense to try and figure out a way to connect to them with sidewalks that lead to the trails to have greater access to that to those systems. Have you systems. walked the the Waitley Crest system at all? No. You should. <laughs> it's quite extensive. Okay. Uh, is there a map that is easy to access on the website of town? Or <laughs> Nicholas is a certain you know, at least all the ones in sort of our neck of the woods, which is on south of the Yeah, the complication is, is as mm -hmm. sort of been said, they're all on private property. They're not, mm -hmm. it's not. It's not. It's not public land. So there's, there's no public access because there's no right. It, there's public. sort of an understanding going back for a really, really yeah. long time that people are allowed to walk through them. I think there's actually a desire not to keep, make them too public, right? I mean, okay. okay. Friends and neighbors. Right. And there's signs. And you, know, you have trails that go through fields that, in the summer, they're used for agriculture. Okay, yeah, I think that's, that's what we need to know. Jeff? Yeah, um, is there a website for Waitley? Does anyone know? Yes. 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 Because um, I have, and I, I'll offer it to the town, I have unbelievable photographs of the beauty that's around here. And, and sometimes when you just shut your mind off, you know, we're talking about this, talking about that, and just look at the beauty that's around here. I'll offer my photographs, but I don't know where to go with them. I don't know who to give them to, but I got the Four Seasons, and I got the snowstorms. I got the Christmas full moon. I have sunsets, sunrises. I got a sunrise on the Waitley Inn at 5 in the morning, and it looked like it was 2 in the afternoon. I have all this in photographs. So, so I'm offering that if I don't know where to, where to take that. I can okay. tell you after the yeah, okay. someone knows what to do. All right. It's the person to talk to. Because there's amazing beauty around here. I need to say that. From an eye of photographer. It's unbelievable. Okay. Um, I think we're about out of time. Um, it is about 8.15, which is when we said we would be closing up. Uh, so I think Susan and I are willing to stick around for a little while. If you all have more questions that we can answer for you, um, we really appreciate you all coming out. We will. We haven't scheduled the second um, community meeting yet, but when we do, there will be another sign out front and hopefully another letter, and we'll try to get to as many people as we can when that will be. It'll be the first week of um, June, the first week of June, sometime that week. Hopefully, if we can find time that week. So. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are. And um, if you do remember, if you could drop off those maps, if you wrote down ideas instead of, or us, that'd be great. If you want to keep it for yourself, of course, take it with you.